A kidnapper called you today, and you wait until now to tell me about it? Good for you, my dear. I only just saw you, didn't I? <laughs> Who are you calling? Who else would I call? The police. Mr. Erdahl already knows. Our telephones are tapped, remember? Yeah, then why aren't we doing anything about it yet? Why don't they check who the phone number belongs to, then? They are checking, Gerald. So? They made the phone call from one of those street pay phones, close to Ayup. Okay, then. Well, then let them go there and search all over the place. Let them not leave a stone unturned. They already are. I'm thinking about something completely different. What? The man on the phone. He said Kareem was fine, but to watch out for his uncle. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. And I went to ask my brother about it. And? He got angry and defensive, as usual. And then he said that I only believed in riffraff. Uh, darling, he's not very far from the truth here. I mean, I'm sorry, but in his shoes, I'd be angry also. You don't know who these men are or what they're trying to say. But doesn't this seem illogical to you? What could they possibly want from me? Why would they lie to me, Gerald? What would they gain by getting me and my brother to argue? So what, Layla? Do you actually believe these men? What could your brother have done that's so wrong? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. to me. I just can't take it anymore. I want to get a divorce. Michael, please let go. I can't allow this, Daphne. You get that? I just can't. I can't allow it. Michael, please let go. But I, I love you so much. Well, I don't love you anymore. Michael, please. Why are you doing this, huh? I'll kill you, do you understand? Huh? I'll kill you. You just can't abandon me. I will kill you. I'll kill you. I can't let you leave. I kill. I swear! Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. So then they were on that bus? Yes, they were, madam. From what I see here, they got tickets for Istanbul, but they got off in Yalova. The assistant driver told me that the young man picked him up there, I believe. The bus will be here in half an hour, and the assistant driver will be able to inform you himself. There's no need. We already know who met them. Mason, let's call what's-his-name about this, Sergeant Erdl. No, we can't call him. What will we do then? 
I'm going to Yalova. Mason, what are you doing? Are you just going to go after him without making any inquiries? What do you want me to do, Aaron? What, Aaron? Mason, calm down, honey, please. Okay, okay, I'm calm now. I'm calm now. I'm going to find them, and I'm going to bring them back. Okay, don't worry, okay? Okay, let's all go and not waste any I time. I agree, you honey. You two are not coming with me. Mason. For the love of God, just find a taxi and go home. Wait for my call, and don't tell anyone about this. But don't do anything silly. Susie, just listen to me, okay? You are not coming with Mason, me. Mason, I will never let you go alone. I will not let you go alone, you understand? Mason, if you go alone, we'll just take a taxi and follow you there. Why are you both so obstinate, huh? Do I have to take care of you also in this condition I'm in? Mason. Mason, okay. Okay. But please be careful, okay? Okay. 